Hi Altera, and I'm actually going to be showing you how to use this electrical timer. Now, as you can see, I actually got my third and very last grow light. So that completes the series, the first, the second, and this third one here. Now, because I have all these grow lights, it's starting to become a hassle where I can actually um, go out, like go to work or just go out with friends, hang out because I always have to worry about, oh, I have to turn these lights on or I have to turn them off. And it, you know, comes to house because you gotta get off from work. You know, you gotta come back, turn the stuff on, leave or turn it and come back later to turn it off. So I decided to get, go on Amazon, get sunlight electrical timer. I'm actually gonna have a link at the bottom where you can buy this if you want to. Now, full disclosure, of course, I'm not getting any kickbacks or any type of um, products for promoting it i'm just doing it because this is what i found and this is what you know i want to use so i want to share it with the fellow gardening community even though i am an amateur garden gardener i'm hoping to get more experience as time goes on so with no further ado this is how the sunlight electrical timer works now here you have these indentations uh, what you want to do is push these down for the specific model that I got. Every time you press it down, each little uh, division equals 15 minutes. If you look here at the light while it's shining, try and get this to adjust, you can actually see it. So what you want to do is for the time that you want it on, press it down. If you want it on, press it down to activate it. If you don't want it on, you want it to remain off keep it as you see it here so you can clearly tell this is the part this is all this time is where I want it on and this is when I want to cut back on I oh, cut off I'm sorry so it'll be off this entire time going out throughout the day and then bam it turns back on all three lights will be on at that time now if you look here at the dial face you can see this little triangle and this triangle actually represents the current time that's what it goes off of so for here it's around 11 o'clock so that's where I want it on and at 12 o'clock as you can see here this is 12 o'clock you can see 12 o'clock and this is when it's going to be on and it's going to turn off automatically at around seven o'clock in the morning so um, they put a nice little um, uh, little time difference on here so obviously this is the nighttime and this is the daytime but it really wouldn't matter because that's no matter what time you put it on you know if you reverse it it's fine but it's just a handy dandy little reference tool for you so also want to make sure here on the side that you have you have two uh, parts you have the on switch and then you have the T switch now the on switch when you press it down that activates the actual timer it'll start working so the timers on when you press it up that means T is activated you can think of T as T for timeout so the electricity will freely flow meaning that the timer itself won't be active it'll just be on like any old light now what I did for mine, of course, as you can see, I have it on, timer on. I have the time that I already wanted to set by pressing these down. Each one represents 15 minutes. And of course, you can push it back up, you know, if there are some times you want it to be more intermittent. But of course, I want mine for my plants to all stay down. Uh, so down is on, up is off. T is timeout, timer off down is timer on now what i'm going to end up doing is getting i uh, have an extension cord as you can see here and this one is a little different oh, now you can see it these three are for the lights so what i'm going to do is get the extension cord and i have the three prong ones it's good to get these just in case there's some type of uh, electrical storm and there's a uh, power outage so i'm going to get it plug it into here verify that the timer is actually on and I'm going to just go ahead and plug it up here in this socket that you can barely see and all right now it's on so uh, if you 
listen, you can actually hear it a little bit. So that's all you really have to do once 12 o'clock hits. It's gonna go ahead and turn itself on. But just for verification, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that. And as you can see, the lights are on. I'm gonna switch it down and turn the timer on. And watch what happens. Timer on, T, on, T. All right, so I don't wanna keep flipping it on and off. So right now I have the timer activated and it's plugged up and ready to go. So within one hour, it is currently 11.27, a little over, a little under an hour actually, cause I have it set at 11 o'clock. 12 hits for the timer. These will all turn on. I'll already be sleeping, so it wouldn't matter. And it'll be on up until seven o'clock when I'll probably be getting up and be off and the plants have what they need for the day. I'll give them a few, I'll give them the entire day of just, you know, rest, break, whatnot. And then I'll actually have the lights turned back on at night. Now, um, the only reason I want to do it is because sometimes, you know, when I get off work or I get home early, I don't feel like having my glasses on. So, I mean, having, you know, I don't want to walk around with doggone shades on around the house, so that's why I have it on at night while I'm sleeping. And all I have to do is just draw the curtains, and I don't have to worry about any incoming light, and turn all the lights off in my nice, handy-dandy, comfortable room. So, I'll have the link down in the description, and that was the Sunlight from Sunlight Company, ironically enough. The Model T... 200-05-003-SU 24-hour heavy-duty appliance timer. Again, full disclosure, I'm not getting any kickbacks for promoting them. It's just that I got my products on there, and I just want to share it with you guys. So, uh, I'd like you to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and have a very blessed day. This is Kyle Altera. See you later.